everyone. For today's daily dose of hope, I would like to read to you Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself. Where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord, God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. I thought this psalm was pretty fitting because it starts out by saying, How lovely is your dwelling place. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. And I think each one of us can um, relate to that right now. I know that I get to be here at church at Living Word because I work here, but on Sunday mornings when it's just me and pastor and a few of the people who've been helping us, it, it actually is kind of sad not to have you guys here physically with us. And my heart longs for you all to join us again really soon. And so I'm guessing with you guys being at home, you also long to be here with us. So I thought that this Psalm was very fitting for today and um, now I will just pray with you. Dear Lord, thank you so much for um, giving us this place of worship that we can join together. Um, please take all the sickness that's going around and um, take it away so that we can join here together again. Um, be with all the people on the front lines that are um, healthcare workers and um, everybody that is taking care of the people who are sick and um, keep them extra safe and keep the virus away from their bodies. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I'll see you next time.